Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio. We are on version 0.15, and today we're going to finally set up some red belt production stuff. Um, I think what I want to do is, like, tear all this apart. We're going to need a lot, well, I don't know, probably the transport stuff is still okay. But we do need a ridiculous amount of gears. So, let's figure this out. I know I was talking at the end of last episode about, like, the fact that you can have two of these underground belt like the yellow underground belts feeding into one of the fast underground belts but i think it might just be a lot simpler to have everything be linear especially since these things have to pick up a ton of gears um i suspect it's not going to be the yellow belt production that's going to be the bottleneck it's going to be the i have to pick up so many iron gears to get this done um and we don't need ludicrous numbers of production like here's what i'm thinking um, I'm thinking what we do is we do something, I don't know, just arbitrarily, like, choosing a location, right? Could we do something like this, where this is the yellow underground belt, this is the red underground belt, this later on will be the blue, which I think is just feeding a red and more gears, and maybe, like, red circuits or something, I'm not sure, right? So if we did this, so, um... This needs, this needs the iron plates as well as gears. No! Oh, as well as transport belts, but it's the only thing that needs it. Um, so, I don't know, some, some, some sort of, some sort of line here that's got, did I open up the tech accidentally? I did. Uh, that's probably got the uh, yellow transport belts as well as the plates, which literally is what this is carrying right now, because we've already got that set up. Um, so if we feed that in, and then we have, let's say, some sort of line here that is all gears. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it was, like, double-sided gears. Again, I'm assuming that this is going to need that later on. Um, and then we could do the same thing on the other side, with the splitters, which also need the electronic circuits. Uh, but again, we could just say, like, the same sort of setup where it's like this and maybe a far one with this holding onto the green, or even we could just have a couple of things that feed in this way or something like that. And so here we're making the yellow splitter followed by the red splitter. Oh, which needs more green stuff! Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This thing is going to be interrupted by something. Um, this thing is going to contain the transport belts and the, the plates. So, okay, I can go and basically trash this. I mean, there's nothing stopping this from, from working as is, but let's, let's see what we can do. Uh, let me remove this. And leave some extra crap on the ground. Pick that up. Okay. May as well get rid of these poles here. Just clean that up, scooch. All right. So let's go put a little splitter in here. Run you around this way. And like that. And let's get a big pole. Well, I guess it's not going to matter much. We'll just use medium poles uh, here and here and there to connect that up. And you're going to grab uh, this way and be just out of power range. Here, do that. Okay, so you're feeding into there, which will feed into there, which eventually will feed into there. So here we need, right, just crazy amounts of, um, of gears. So let's... do a crazy amount of gears. This is probably way too much, but better than not enough, and then we can always change the scaling later on. And you grab that, same thing over here. Definitely need blues for this. 
because it's a very fast operation. Just unlock a bunch of different techs here. And we're gonna we're gonna run out of things we can do with just two colors. Although, I feel like there's more of that stuff now than there used to be. I don't know if that's like just my imagination, but it kind of feels that way. So, bam ba dam ba dam. Uh, so for now, I guess actually. This is actually just going to be a box. Boop. And probably just one stack of the underground is going to be okay, but later on it'll get replaced. I guess the same thing's going to happen here. Uh, thank you for interrupting me. And I need a new pick. Excellent. I can now use a steel axe. And a box. Like that. And like that. And likewise, just one stack is going to be more than enough. So, oh, gears. Right. Boom. All right, you can click and hold now, which is lovely. And all we need over here is power. Crazy amounts of gears. And we're going to hope that it's going to be sufficient. I suspect this will start to backlog over here. But we'll see. And I hope there's enough um, plates that are coming in. And you need... Yeah, you need so many iron gears! This has always been the case? It feels like this is so much more pricey than before. Still, we're definitely... Our production is definitely going to be enough here. It's going to be fine. I mean, as long as the, the iron plates keep coming in uh, sufficiently fast. So, we're going to need the same thing coming in this way. Boop and boop. We're also going to need a few more blues, so we're going to get that set up. But, you also need green circuits, and so... And I think this needed it as well. Oops. Whatever, robotics, sure. Boom, boom. And like that. And like that. There we go. Finally get this rocking and rolling. I think... I think we're going to need like double blue. And I actually think it's probably we want to do that as well. Because they're going to go nuts, like, with their requirements in this. There we go. Alright, some of them might sit idle some of the time, but not as often as I think I might be concerned about. So, now the final thing to do is actually to get red transport belts, which just need regular belts plus tons and tons and tons of the gears. So, I think I'm just going to route the gears around this way. Oh, there's my handgun. Um, and we'll probably want slightly more production for this. So I'm going to double up on the blues and say, bam, bam. Like that. You know what? Up to that many. For symmetry. No, we really are not producing enough freaking uh, gear wheels to do all this. Well, eventually uh, they will fill up from time to time, so it's going to be okay. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Um. Oh, it might just be the shortage of this stuff. Now, one of the things we can do is, as our first priority... Now, first of all, I could have put this a little closer to the production um, line... I could also produce more gears from this, just locally, just for whatever. Excellent, I've picked up the, the pistol. That's entirely what I wanted to do. I'm just going to do this a little, just to help accelerate things a scooch. But yeah, our first priority might be to increase the total throughput of, um, of iron plates to here.
which might partially just be a bit of a rebalancing between the four lines, but I think is mostly just a question of um, maybe getting these splitters to, to shove things over a little faster, actually. I, I mean, even though we're using yellow lines here, if I just did this, that's going to properly saturate that. Um, this is not particularly balancy, and by that I mean not balanced at all. So that might be another good case or something like that. I don't think you used to be able to just replace the splitters like this before, could you? I don't know, maybe you could. There you go. So, I mean, the, the yellow lines are still the bottlenecks, but at least it's going to keep this a little bit better saturated overall. So I can pick up more of that. I can also start to dump the yellow splitters, actually, like, in here as ingredients and in here as ingredients so that we don't have to pull as many things off the line somewhere else. But that's not too shabby. Now, we have to take a look at our aliens here. Pollution's not reaching them yet. We've got some guns certainly nowhere near the amount that we need. Now, there's not going to be a tremendous amount of pollution up here, but let's go ahead anyway and make sure to, let's say, flank this area with a couple of turrets, like that and like that. And then we're just going to cap out both these guns. I'll feel much, much safer. Let's get some lights. Boop. And that is one too high. There we go. Like that. I'll just feel better. I mean, there's no walls and everything over here, which ultimately we will want. Uh, but right now, there shouldn't be much critter evolution, I, I hope, so I think we're going to be good for now. Boom, and we really don't need as many red undergrounds, it's gonna really going to be the splitters that we need more of, but there we go, that, that'll hold us for now, and that's going to be okay. We're going to want a lot more of these red tracks, I suppose I could dump some of the yellows in there, just for whatever. We're probably going to want a lot more of the red production. Well, again, it's being limited by our gears right now. So I guess I under... I really underestimated how many we would need. Jeepers. Jeepers? Really? Really, Quill? Really? Alright. What are you, a, an old man? Um... Are you really not feeding this in quickly enough? I suppose one of the things, I don't know if we can get that far, but like with the stacking, can we get to the point where it does, ah, stacking of non-stack, of non-stack uh, inserters. Yes, that would actually be then the thing to do. Because then these guys can grab two at a time. Because yeah, see how these guys are working non-stop? If they can grab two at a time here, I think that would improve this a little bit, but, huh. Well, I can just increase how many of these things we build. It's we're the, I didn't really leave the space for an expansion of that. Although, I could just piggyback on what's going on here. So if I say, do this and that. I mean, it's a little silly. But, it's going to be just fine for now. Do something like that, and like that, so we can get a few more gears in here. Still probably not enough to keep this 100% there. But a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to need a shit ton more of this. Which, I mean, I, I, I had the quad here. Although, part of the reason I had the quad is because we needed some for our actual science. Um, this is working out a little bit better. But I should have changed the priority around to have the transport belts feeding off this stuff first, because I really don't need as much of this stuff as I do. But we're good for now. Okay, good enough. So, what's next? Uh, probably getting set up on oil. Well, we could also set up production for a few other things that we need a lot of. Um, you know, like pipe production. Uh, I've got some of that. I mean, it's just sort of a little placeholder thing, but I do have some of it. Uh, that is a ridiculous amount of bullets, but I guess it's not too bad. Because, like, for our oil production, we're gonna need a bunch of pump jacks. 
for one. And we'll need chemical plants and oil refineries. Okay. I think actually the next thing to do is going to be to improve our smelting operations over here. So I think it might be time to replace... Um, where's my... What am I looking for? Steel furnaces. Replace these furnaces. Now, that is going to require that we upgrade all these transport belts to red. Oh, you just don't have enough ore coming in here either. Hmm. Right, because you're mostly being fed from this defunct mine. Actually, you're entirely being fed from these defunct mine. That's that's another part of the shortage. Okay, well, let me upgrade this stuff then. Um, but you're not actually going to be able to saturate everything. Without being upgraded to reds all the way. Oh, I have more. Okay. I know I talked about like keeping this um, as stone furnaces, but I don't really want to like expand to the second area right now. It does mean I have to go and swap everything over to red, to red transports, and I don't have a ton of them. Uh, let me go and. Put that in there and do that. And... We might want to rebalance this earlier. Well, everything's still flowing. Let's see. Well, there's clearly no choice. You are... You're capped over here. Well, ish. There's some gaps, but I think now that we've got the better furnaces, that's going to go away. We're going to get this replaced. Like that. Um, I'm actually going to redo this. Whoops. What do I want? Oh, the new inserter thing. I'm going to replace this with a four-way balancer. Because we definitely have, like, some mixed throughput here. Um, so you can do that, 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 that. Red undergrounds from here to there, from here to there. Um, am I really that full? There, there, do that. So you're going to do that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And... Is it actually, like, proper balance? I guess it is. I don't know. It still feels a little bit odd to me. It still feels like I need the thing at the end. Um, so... Get this one. The other thing that's more or less fully saturated. Oh, is it because I'm picking up a million frickin' um, iron iron plates here? Okay, well... Also, are we out of reds? I think that's the other thing, too. So that's not really helping yet. Because we still have another choke point here. Well, let me see about picking up some more red. Um, I should really dump out... Well, let's do the straight rail here to use up some of the stone. Um, I don't think we need any landfill kicking around. Here, I'll pre-build some stone walls as well. Just to remove some stuff. Where's our... I don't remember where our copper smelting is. Oh, over here. I don't know why I ended up with some of this ore. Let's get rid of that for now. And... Yeah. And then we'll go and pick up a bunch more red inserters. We should have some amount stockpiled here. I still don't think our production is going to be what we need it to be. And I really should look into buffing that kind of significantly. Although, no, nope, it did 100% cap out at the 400 there. Okay, so I guess it's fine. I guess it's just because I was I was grabbing so much for a long time. Also, the um, uh, the gears have all gotten synced up now, and we've got a nice full backlog of that as well. This inserter bonus should also help things out. 
So you're going to go that way. Yeah, okay. I gotta get rid of a bunch of this stone. We picked up too much before. Where do I want to dump this? Over here. I'm actually betting these things are full of stone. Yep. As is this chest here. We're gonna upgrade you with a steel one. And I can't actually drop you from my cursor, which is annoying. There we go. Much better. Okay. Because then, once again, I can pick up a few of the steel plates over here and use the yellow inserters, that, or the yellow belts that I'm picking up, and convert them over to reds on the fly. Boom. Like that. Constantly clearing up some more inventory. Okay. Sorry, inventory management. You'd think if I really want to record a bunch of videos on inventory management, I would just uh, play some Path of Exile right now. Or something like that. Alright, so you're flowing like this. Um, the inputs are probably going to get starved out, but I'm not as worried about being starved on the input side right now, as much as making sure that the outputs we've got can actually flow out somewhere. Uh, so I think that's been redified the entire way, and it's starting to flow into this a lot faster. And it does flow into the yellow there, but it's going to be okay. Overall, our, our output is improving, well, except for the fact that it's dying over here. But yeah, we'll need, uh, we'll need to really address that quite soon, because all of these, there's basically going to be no mining here in a second, which means half of this is all going to get starved out, which means we really do need to, like, sort of reflow most of this stuff over here. Um, and I think what it means is the coal production from over here, I don't think is going to flow into our, um, our smelting operations. I think they're going to go completely... Well, they'll, they'll feed the copper smelting for now. But this one line that comes off here, which feeds all of our smelting, because you really don't need a whole lot. And maybe I'll leave it there for now. Um, but I was going to say, we'll probably want to start shipping some coal from down uh, down south. But maybe we don't need that quite yet. Uh, so those inserter bonus bonuses are all done. So now, yeah, I don't really care. Just grab whatever. And we're going to get this going. So... Right, so oil is next, but I think doubling up on this is also kind of next. And doing this properly. Because, yeah, we're just trickling in steel. Again, we don't really need much in the way of steel right now, uh, but we need to look into that much more seriously. Is there... There's no more iron ore down here that we can get to safely. So there's going to have to be an attack plan from here, because we definitely want to flow iron into our mines. Our iron ore over here, I think started at like 2 million now down to 450k. I might be thinking of the, the wrong thing. Um, based on the size, uh, it was probably something more like 800k or something. I'm betting we're about halfway done draining this. It does not take that long to do. We're definitely going to have to think about getting our trains to start flowing some things in here. And that means setting up some guns. Uh, maybe building a car. Hell, we've got a ton of engines. We should have a ton of engines at this point. Um, so maybe I should just build a car and go down there and take care of that. I could, um, since we do have some steel, I could set up the armor-piercing bullet tech, which also, or tech, armor-piercing bullet production, which is also one of the things we need for some of our tech, and that might not be a bad idea. Uh, engines. Okay, well, we don't need that many. Can I just build a car as is? I probably need to pick up more steel. Or oh, iron. Okay. There we go. Build a car. Uh, I'm going to need to pick up some coal to power it. So, let's uh, take the car, put it on the ground. Let's go ahead and do that. We could also, we can store things in it too, which is kind of nice. Um, like, a ton of ammunition. Uh, I can't remember. Enter to go into a car? Yeah. So we can probably clear out some of the alien nests like that. Now these, uh, these poles are going to be real hazards going forward. I don't know if that's going to be the priority, necessarily. Whack. Death to trees. Um, I'm trying to decide if, if clearing it makes sense right now. First of all, I'm a little concerned that I might, you know, get myself killed doing it. 
um, or the oil. Now, either way, I think it makes sense to expand southeast. We've got a giant coal pile there. We've got a good amount of crude over here. Uh, more crude certainly here, but, you know, if we just expand this way, we get access to this coal, we've got this, and we can access these iron mines and get that in there. Um, yeah, I think that's what we have to do. So, I've got some armor. Do I have I unlocked better armor? Oh yeah, I have. Even unlocked modular armor, although you need the red stuff for that. I could build heavy armor right now, which seems like it would probably be a relatively good investment. Um, let me get a little wooden chest down here. Oh, I can't build a wooden chest. Just a dummy iron chest. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff in it. Do that. I finish another technology. I'm gonna drop the pistol in here, so I don't have to worry about picking it up again. Um, oh, it's actually steel that I need. Um, which we still have some stored in there, but I can grab some from here as well. Tons of it. So I want to build... Oh! Copper plates, which I can grab from here. Boom. Probably grab some more just so I can create some stuff on the fly. So we're gonna make a heavy armor. I'm gonna take the old light armor, put it in there. And can I make better guns? No, I can make some armor piercing rounds. I shouldn't need that right now. Let's see? There we go. I'm just gonna blow up this chest. So I don't accidentally pick up that shit again. Yeah, let's hope we can do okay without armor piercing rounds. Um we can probably pre-build some more jack pumps. Sure. Pump jacks. Jack pumps. Pick up a few bricks. Alright. Where'd I leave my car? Right down there. Well, I guess we'll put a cut in here. And next episode, we're going to go and clear out some nests. And they, they, the nests don't respawn in this, so once they're cleared, we should be good. This one's going to be pretty easy. It's, it's over here is going to be very scary. Um, but I think we can clear this and this, and then maybe wall off this area. Maybe I should just get a shite ton of bricks. I've got some guns. I've got a lot of bullets. You know what? We actually are going to go and grab a ton of these bricks. And build tons of stone walls. And we're just going to start walling off that area down there. I think that's swell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.